all this is Dr. Mubin Sayyid. So no anosmia, no sense of loss of taste, no cough or almost no cough are the new symptoms. And this is what is reported by Dr. Angeli Kutsia from South Africa, who is the chair of the South African Medical Board. Plus, she is a general practitioner as well. She says that not only she is observing this, but she, is seeing, she has consulted her uh, friends, colleagues as well, and they all are observing this uh, kind of new symptom set. So let's very quickly look at these symptoms. Just five minutes of your time. I know it's a weekend. So let's do this. Symptoms. Um, and the references, let me just quickly, I'll show you the references afterwards. So first of all, what she says is that she is seeing symptoms of Omicron to be more like beta coronavirus, not beta coronavirus, but, but the beta version, which was the previous South African version, 351, compared to Delta. So that is a very interesting thing, more like South African variant than the Delta variant. This is her own um, discussion. And I have put the link to the interview with Newsroom Africa where she is discussing this. So that is one very interesting thing. Secondly, this is really, really interesting. Anosmia not present. At least once again, she is looking at patients in outdoor. They are youngsters mostly because they're coming in outdoors. So please keep in mind that this is a smaller spectrum of the whole um, age range and comorbidity range. So sense of smell present, taste present. And she's saying that she was used to treating patients who had lost their sense of smell and taste when they were getting con uh, the COVID infection with the Delta, which means what? Of course, on the on the surface of it, hey, no sense of smell or taste. That means doctors will have to be careful that they do not dismiss this as a common cold. On the other hand, what is interesting is this means that the this variant, Omicron, is not damaging the olfactory epithelium and possibly the rest of the epithelium, the, the surface cells, that much. So when it is not damaging them that aggressively, that is why the inflammation in the olfactory bulb, the area which smells, is not occurring. And this may be the reason why there is not a lot of cough either. So sense of smell is present, taste is present, which could also mean that possibly neurological symptoms may also not be aggravated. I'm extrapolating from this, I may be wrong, but this, these two are what she has said. This also could mean that long haul may not be that frequent with this variant. Then for the, um, for the cough, remember originally when we started with the Wuhan, cough was a common symptom and runny nose was not. Then with the Delta, runny nose became a more common symptom as well. Now there is a newer shift again with the Omicron and that is, there is almost no cough or very mild cough or just some scratchy throat and throat pain, which also is another indicator that it is possible that the epithelial cells are not damaged that much, which may be a very good news. I'm using the words maybe and all that because this is one doctor and her colleagues account. We have to see a larger set of patients. We have to see what really does happen. This is why I'm putting these words maybe because I cannot generalize it yet. So throat, she says no cough or mild cough, mostly scratchy throat. What does that mean for shedding? That means if somebody is coughing, you know that hey, that person may be shedding. But now if they are not coughing, they may just be shedding as if they're talking or laughing. And unfortunately, and I'm not fear mongering here, unfortunately, as we we are in the holiday season, it is possible that the, the transmission might occur just by, um, by the talking and laughing. And person may not be aware that they have the virus because they're not coughing that much. At the same time, there is a balancing act as well. And that is the youngsters are becoming very tired and exhausted and have body aches, which means they may tend to stay at home. 
so on one end throat no cough no scratchy throat that means there would be an effect on shedding and i would be very curious to understand the r not r not so far is said to be 2 which is a very good r not compared to delta but anyways we'll see more muscles so muscle pains body aches and fatigue is the more prominent one so why is it so prominent or why is it so highlighted she says that she had one family four members of the family all of them tested positive for covid but all of them were complaining of the muscle aches and fatigue instead of the anosmias and cough and those things that is how she said she became alerted and she started researching more about it so tiredness and fatigue and muscle pains and body aches these are more common symptoms interestingly you know that these are common symptoms with the other viruses as well with flu as well and sometimes even vaccines vaccines cause muscle aches joint aches and tiredness as well another thing that she found very interesting was that most of the patients she is able to have them observe them recovering within a couple of days at home so she's saying that no drop in the level of oxygen so that is also a very good news again i'll keep repeating one person and her colleagues account this is not a study so we'll have to continue to observe more then duration of illness two days or so at home people are not progressing towards the hospital again these are youngsters as well they generally do not progress towards hospital so that may be the bias here that may be the uh, the cause here older individuals do not know so she does not know and we do not know that how will this behave with the older individuals my suspicion is that if the if the virus is not damaging epithelium or surfaces too much then it may be possible that it does not become very aggressive but we don't know and please make sure that you are careful because holiday season is on us gatherings will be present so please wear your mask if you're vaccinated good if not please figure out with your doctor have social distancing just be very very careful it is unfortunate that as the holiday season rolls around this is what happened last christmas as well as well remember before the christmas time there was delta that was appearing and then all of a sudden uk was kind of becoming shut down so here once again we have unfortunately another situation so just be very very careful regardless of the politics of it of it just be very very careful and so this is the uh, symptom set let me very quickly show you the references as well so if you wanted to read more so here if you see this is who and they have added omicron over here 11529 this is dr kutsia and she is uh, interviewing with Ayan, ayanda nayathi from the uh, newsroom africa very interesting she is of course protesting that hey why the all all of a sudden the whole world is shutting us down and and canceling the flights we are being transparent we are helping and instead of there, there is a response that she does not appreciate then there are some uh, interesting articles here as well one of the interesting article which i put here and i would discuss this separately and that is new omicron variant emerges amid covid spike in massachusetts so we'll we'll continue to see so this is the discussion i just very quickly wanted to get ahead of this if you would like me to talk about the the uh, travels and the cancellations and where has it reached so far and so on please tell me and i would do a separate talk about that otherwise thank you very much i just wanted to get ahead of the symptom set as well so doctors are aware that there is going to be a difference in symptom set and we generally are aware that this difference actually means something positive as far as i can tell from so far but this is a very small slice of the symptoms thank you very much please like subscribe and share in the description there are three links you can use those to support this work 
You can buy me a coffee or you can become a patron or you can use PayPal. Thank you very much. Stay safe and healthy and happy. And I would see you again. Bye.